My understanding is uh, this young fella who worked for the FBI uh, didn't know that I was anyone at all. All he knew is he was going to school with me. And uh, he, he told me he interned with the FBI, and they did that for a reason. It was to set me up, and uh, that's kind of how the FBI works. They're real big on setting people up. Uh, you have to think about it. Uh, if you really want to get someone convicted of a crime, and you, you're pretty sure they committed the crime, you're probably going to set them up. The problem is now we're in the situation we got General Nakasone, and... Uh, some of these people out here done seen uh, Martin Scorsese's film, and they know a little something about the history of uh, Christianity in Japan. They know that um, you have to be careful with people that you committed mass murder against. All right, so uh, one time, my grandpa, he don't say too much to me. My grandpa never talked. My grandpa was one of those men. One time I, I walked up to my grandpa while he was in a golf cart and he was peeing while well, sitting down. It was very weird. Anyways, my grandpa was a, was a, went to Yale, but then he dropped out. And he was a, he was a fighter pilot from, in Japan uh, with, with George Bush. See, and uh, if, you ever, if you ever read the book Fly Boys, you should read it. Sorry. Anyways, uh, what I'm trying to say is when I was with my grandfather one day, I was golfing told me, uh, he said, the Japanese will never forget what we did to them. Don't you forget. And uh, I haven't forgot, but um, I feel like some people in the government never really knew. It's like, you're like, everyone's always, it's like you, you're, you're post-Kennedy. So you're not like, you've, you're not like American intel since when? Like, not even during Kennedy, because intel is who killed Kennedy. That's my opinion, allegedly. Wait, no, it's allegedly my opinion. No, it's, it's alleged that I did it. I can't say that Kennedy was assassinated by Eisenhower because he was not so much a fascist, he was a faker. And if there's anything that exists in the world to faker, it's hard to explain how, you know, I, I, come, I come from a family of fakers. Not all of us, not, not even close to all of us, but I mean, we, we have, we, 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 we've been forced in that direction. And fortunately, we're lucky enough to play jokes on these people. Because if there's anything that exists, it's a faker amongst people that are serious. And, and if you consider it a joke, it's not that bad. All right, so uh, Brett Kavanaugh, he's an alleged CEO rapist because I can't say that. I'm confused here. Okay, so if I have nine followers and you're saying that I committed slander to, five, to, to, to like five people maybe, and I don't know any of those followers, they're probably bots. Okay, I'm really confused about that. So how can these people sue me and how can I not know who's suing me? It's like it's like not knowing the charges against you. Um, are we all just gonna anonym anonymously sue with one another indefinitely? And that's why I'm saying like, okay, are people already out spending my money because the Supreme Court has decided that I don't have constitutional rights and that that's actually acceptable? Yeah, that's why, I mean, I know everyone's not really comfortable. I, I hear that Ruth Bader Ginsburg is real afraid of dying. <laughs> I swear to God. No, no, no. She's afraid of dying. I'm 34 years old, and I've pretty much been ready for any moment for like five, seven years. Seven years ago, I didn't realize it, but five. Yeah. So... I don't know, I'm not that precise, I know, but um, if you're 90 something, at some point you're like, at some point, don't you want to break? Like, don't you want to go to bed? Um, you know, everyone has a great legacy, not once you completely throw out the Constitution and act like a dictator and you understand the history of the United States. And if you understand the history of the United States, then you understand the whole point of the Constitution is to prevent dictators. And if the judges are becoming dictators along with a few members of the government, then it's pretty clear that you're gonna have to kill those people. I mean, I don't know, what do we do? Put it on C-SPAN, just hang them? Um, do we just not put it on TV at all? Do we like partially blur it? I mean, I don't know, but I know that that's what you do with traitors, you hang them.